on the front porch like she was all the time, would sit out there. That was her hour and hour sitting on that front porch. Her whole front of her house was a crime scene. But as I start looking around and talking to people, what did I hear? Councilman, these fools are running through our neighborhood every day, waving guns, shooting, threatening people, and stolen cars. Then I, when I was trying to leave the scene, I was trying to back out in my truck, and there was a basketball court in the yard, in the street, and I asked them if they could please move it so I could get around it. And then I stopped and I asked the gentleman who was playing with the kids. I said, tell me, what's the deal with the basketball court in the street? Councilman, drive around the streets. Look at all the basketball courts on the street because the kids can't go to the park to play because the thugs took over the park. The kids can't play basketball. They're afraid to go. Afraid to go to the park to play basketball. Then I start looking at the indicators for when there's a, sh a shot fired, and I, I saw number 60, and I was appalled. 60 shots, I thought. Then I went out yesterday and started driving around, and believe it or not, they never picked up the triangles. They left them. 77. I was mistaken. Then I learned this afternoon, Councilman, you're wrong. It was 93 shell casings. 93 shell casings. These fools were shooting at one another in a residential working class neighborhood. Then three elderly ladies that live across from where this initiated at the park told me, Councilman, because I went over their house, we can't sit on our porch because of these fools. And the one told me, she said, I had to buy a gun. Now, this is not the border of Ukraine and Russia, where you should have to arm up to live in a house. This is the streets of Cleveland. Mr. Chairman, something is terribly wrong here. The incident on West 6 magnified the problem. But look at the carnage every day in this city. There's got to be a game plan. Now, we are right now down below what we were in 1923 in the Division of Police. Below what we were in 1923. Where is the marketing and recruitment plan we've been hearing is coming? I don't see it. I don't know it. And my people are asking the same thing. But the numbers speak for themselves. We are down in 13 officers from where we were in 2020. Think about that, my brothers and sisters. And then I hear this thing, you know what, Councilman, there's no correlation between violence and the number of police officers working your streets. Is somebody smoking crack? What do the suburbs put an emphasis on? Patrolling the neighborhoods. Traffic enforcement. When we had mini stations, when we had a strike force units, when we had a DARE program, those were all preventive maintenance programs to reduce crime in our neighborhoods. I know I was here 